There's a lot we don't know about the atrocity that took place in Uvalde, Texas yesterday, but the entire country, both parties, to be fair, are intent on preventing it from happening. Today's again. date. Children murdered. There's nothing worse than that. May 25th, 2022. But it raises the question, 20, what can we do in real life, rhetoric aside, talking points aside, how hard is it to stop an individual who is intent on hurting other people? Kelly McCann has thought a lot about this. He's a former Marine Corps officer. He's been in the executive protection business for many years in this and many other countries, and we're happy to have him join us tonight. Kelly, thanks so much for coming on. I've heard you say this, in fact, that if someone is intent on hurting others, it's very hard to stop that person. It's not, that's not fatalism. I think it's a reflection of reality. Is that true? That's absolutely true, uh, Tucker. I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of people want to reduce this to a gun issue. It's not a gun issue. If someone is intent on hurting someone, um, they're going to find a way to do it, right? And some yeah. ways are more convenient, some ways are more concealable, and some ways might be a little bit easier to pull off. But at the end of the day, if someone's intent on that, uh, they're going to find a way. The real problem here is why are we producing so many people in recent years that seem to want to do this? Um, yes. if, if you look at the historical climb, right, I mean, it just seems that these incidents, and they're anomalies, they still remain anomalies, um, are happening with more frequency. So it's not really a gun issue or an access issue or maybe even a psychological issue. Is it a societal issue? So it's, it feels to me like there are a lot of, and boy, that's the answer that nobody wants to hear. I know you don't that's want right. to say it. I don't want to hear it. But how important is it to be honest about the threat that you face? I mean, I feel like a lot of people have a vig in here. They have an interest in selling some solution that's not a solution. Why aren't more people just blunt about it? You know, because we, were, we live in a politically correct society where everyone's supposed to be tolerant and everyone is supposed to be, you know, exceptionally considerate, and no one wants to speak the hard truth. The hard truth is 67,000 public elementary schools across the nation, $2.5 billion to assign a resource officer to each one of them, generally speaking. And in, in a lot of cases, in fact, this shooter was confronted by two school district employed police officers. They didn't get into a firearms engagement. So that may be not an answer, okay? Um, you know, usually in a physical security situation, it's a human breakdown, right? So the back door, there's a question. How did he get in the back door? Was it left open because someone went out to vape or smoke? Was it left open after recess? Um, look, these protocols make people complacent because in the vast majority of schools across the country, there will never be a school shooting, okay? They are true anomalies and it's exceptionally difficult to protect effectively against an anomaly. Most people won't spend the money, they lose interest, they get bored until the next one. And then we hear yeah. platitudes and a lot of other things that don't make sense. That's exactly right. Maybe we should take a close look at what's happening to young men in our society. Maybe we should care about that. I hope that spurs that conversation. Kelly McCann, we're gonna see you again soon. I appreciate it coming on, thank you. Great to talk, Hunter.